Welcome back, everyone, to Story Geek Shorts. This is the La Aurora Blending Seminar segment. We're going to smoke uh, the last perito. Right. It was interesting. I was talking with Lito Gomez, and he said, you know, when you, uh, if you give cigars to uh, blenders who've been doing this for a long time, right. most of the uh, humans in general, whether you're a cigar blender, cigar enthusiast, can't pick out the different tobaccos in a blended cigar. It's just extremely difficult. Right. He said with Peritos, usually you can get it right if you've got some experience right. smoking Peritos. So this is great training your palate. Yeah. Um, not just to pick out the flavors in the Peritos, but when you sample all of these Peritos, now when you smoke other cigars, hopefully you might be able to pick out some of these flavors and characteristics from those cigars and be able to pick out one leaf in maybe a cigar, maybe not get the full blend, yep. but be able to pick out some of these flavors. So it's a great like training your palate Oh, exercise. I'm definitely going through. I mean, these were three very different yeah. Peritos. Um, I, there wasn't a lot of overlap between the three. No, certainly not. And uh, so the Nicaraguan was good. Yep. Again, a little bit of spice. Right. A um, little bit of pepper in that just Nicaraguan. I and I can only describe it as a very, very slight coffee chocolate yep. type flavor. Yeah. R- richness, as Manuel said, is mm-hmm. you're definitely getting it. But there was more spice. So, uh, you know, it was more robust, to say the least. Now, what's interesting, Will, is the Dominican is the strongest of all of the four different filler tobaccos. That's interesting, you know, and you always hear people say that strong cigars don't come out of the Dominican. Now, we know that's not true. Oh, yeah, smoking Opus X. Smoking Opus X, I mean, there's a... Uh, Dominican Puro, and one of the strongest cigars on the market today. I mean, even uh, Aging Rooms, uh, the M21 yep. Fortissimo was pretty powerful. This one has a very loose draw. Oh, on the cold draw, I actually felt that. Use my La Aurora lighter instead. This one definitely has some spice on the retro hail. It has that um, nice Dominican, like, herbally sweetness to it. That's what I get. So, I mean, again, so different from all of the other uh, filler tobaccos inside of this blend. And a lot of spice on the retro hail. Oh my goodness, yeah. Probably the most spice on the retro hail of all of the filler tobaccos, right? Yep. Yeah, that's got some kick to it. That'll wake up your senses. So again, this is number four. This is the um, cigar from left to right. This is number four. So it's the one on the right hand most side. Get a little Very sweetness. Different. A little sweetness. A little bit of sweetness. Yep. Like an herbally. herbally I get those sweet. herbal notes and I get sweetness for sure. Very good. Very good. I'm just kind of real curious now. We're going to take these four and there's going to be, mm. there'll obviously be a binder wrap, but there's going to be that Cameroon wrapper that's going to kind of just wrap this whole thing. And I'm kind of real curious now to, and I've smoked the Cameroon, mm. but I'm still kind of, it's still kind of an unknown quantity now going through right. the four burritos what I'm going to get when I smoke that. It's much thinner. Yep. Smoke isn't as thick as some of the Not other Not as thick, burritos. but definitely the loosest of the four as far yes, as draw goes. Yeah. The Peruvian, I thought, was the kind of the thickest. It had a, yeah. a, a really good texture to it. There's a lot of texture to that yeah. smoke. There's not as much texture to this smoke, um, but it's got that spice kicked up. Oh, yeah. And it's not a cedar spice. It's more of a... Um, yeah, that herbally Dominican herbal, that the, yeah. sweetness. Yeah. Again, but, something that's... I mean, I've had some Peritos that I barely could puff through. Yeah, these were all enjoyable, right? Like, you wouldn't yeah. mind smoking any any one of these four. But again, four different, completely different profile. I'm going to cleanse my palate in between here. I think we've been forgetting to do that. Well, we've been doing it during the break. Yeah, we've been doing it during the break. But, uh... You feel your palate getting a little tired? Oh, oh yeah, you, you know, I, you know... And you know you smoke a lot of cigars, obviously, uh, you know, reviewing cigars for the show, but uh, it is a, a very uh, palate-tiring exercise to smoke through these peritos. 
Yeah, I mean it is, but um, you imagine what these guys in the factory go through when they when they're when they're when they're blending when they're blending, right? And I'm sure they're testing. I mean, I've seen AJ pick up and roll some Parizo AJ Fernandez in the factory, and I'm sure there's different points they're testing out the oh, how they're yeah. fermented and right. stuff. So that's got to be harsh, right? And that's why when you when I hear of people blending a cigar, I think it's important that they're in the factory. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, there are brand owners who will have a cigar sent to them from the factory. I'm not knocking that, but if you're a blender, you need to be in the factory. Yeah, no, I definitely agree. Yeah, and it, there's no saltiness or sourness. Are you getting any bitterness? It might be a little bitterness. A little bitterness, yeah. Yep. But bitter is not a bad thing um, for the cigar, by the way. Well, it's interesting when we talk about making cocktails. Right. You add bitters. You add bitters to your cocktail, yep. and you have to balance that, of course, with sweetness, right. and then whatever kind of spirit that you're putting in to add a different component to it as well. So. And you hit the key word. You hit balance, and that's why it's, <sighs> why you do want a little bitterness in the. Yeah, I really, I really like this blending kit a lot. Did you say there's a different blending kit with a different blend? Well, I've seen that they there is one that's floating around for, with an emerald blend, mm-hmm. and I, I think this was done specifically for Havana Cigar Club. Yes. So I don't know if there are more with the Cameroon blend, but there are other. I mean, we encourage. Oh, you to, so you get all the Peritos because it's the same blend. It's a but you get one, but you get an emerald rather than a Cameroon. Yeah, the emerald. I like the Cameroon better. Y- yeah. And the emerald has a, uh, I um. A bunch. The emerald is the Car- no, it's not the Corojo. Uh oh, uh oh. Yeah, we, we definitely. I opened Pandora's box with that one, and you we, did. Yeah, but uh, I'm gonna tell you what they are. Maybe you can tell me which one it is. Ready? So um, you've got uh, Connecticut, which is not Cameroon, Ecuadorian Sumatra, mm-hmm. Brazilian broadleaf or Corojo. It's the it's the Sumatra. So you're saying? Let's see if the internet. So, Preferitos Emerald. Yep. Let's see. This is good. this is a uh, this is real time recording here. <laughs> That's right. That's right. It's an, it is the Ecuador Ecuadorian Sumatra. Yes. Yeah, because Sapphire is the Connecticut. Yep. Uh, black oh, God, is the, now you're gonna go through black's all the broadleaf. Um, the um, the red is the Maduro. Oh, the boy, ruby is the Maduro. Did you put the black in there too? The black is the uh, Connecticut broadleaf. Yep. The silver is the Cameroon. Yep. The gold. Platinum. Gold is the Corojo. Cor- oh, I'm sorry. Gold is the Corojo. Yeah. Gold is the Corojo. Yes. <clears throat> um, I, I, the Cameroon and the Maduro are pretty high up. Yep. On my list. And, I don't and know. The, but they all smoke different in different sizes, so you can actually purchase these. Um, I should mention. Uh, not just the blending kit, but if you call up Havana Cigar Club, 401-287-4250, they have, I believe, all of the different wrappers in a Corona size. Yeah, a Corona Especial size. Which is size. exclusive to the Havana Cigar Club. Yep. And you can mix and match your box of 10, and inside of your box of 10, it's a signed box, so they have the boxes already pre-signed, Yep. and they'll fill the box of 10 with whatever Coronas you want. And I forget what the cost is on that. I should know, but I forget no, what the cost No, they're reasonably is. priced, yeah. and, um, you know, I'll the, say the, the, the Maduro... Uh, Connecticut Broadleaf Maduro in that Corona size is really good. And I like the Connecticut in that size better than I like it in the Preferito. So yeah. try different sizes in this blend for sure. Yeah, and as far as La Aurora goes in the Northeast, um, where uh, Rhode Island's where Havana Cigar Club is, I would say they have one of the most extensive La Aurora collections. Um, they do. So really good. They carry everything from yep, La Aurora. I mean, yep. Do they have yeah, any this- San Andreas Maduros? No. Oh, all right, then go next door. <laughs> you have to go to my humidor to find those. We'll, we'll work that out later. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, so, yeah, this one is, I tell you what, this one's good as well. I'm really, uh, I'm impressed smoking this again. It, yeah. Tell you what, it's really holding I've my had, I've attention. had some Dominican Puros, uh, not Puritos, but Puros that haven't smoked as good as this. Yeah, yeah. So, I've had some, you know, all these four cigars, I... I tell you what, it's kind of weird. I'd smoke them, yeah. Yeah, I mean, there were people at the blending seminar. There were guys that were, like behind uh because he has you light them up at different times during the blending seminar and again it happens in all the span of an hour and a half and there were guys that were behind because they were enjoying smoking that burrito so much yeah but look at the this is kind of getting a looser draw it's burning a little quicker but the combustion is fine on this cigar it's yeah it's not, not getting harsh on it's it it's not getting harsh it's not it's not right. you know we talked about in the last segment a mouse hole that can sometimes pop up when it's yeah not, it's got a great burn yeah not getting too hot 
Yep. It has some of those great Dominican flavors. Yeah. I mean, especially going through a Dominican and a Nicaraguan. Yeah, you back really to back, see the difference. You, you see the difference. Yep. yep. Yeah, it's been very educational to, yep. to do this. So uh, we're going to finish smoking our Dominican, and then uh, I think we should definitely smoke the full blend. Yeah, we definitely we have, have, to we have, we have to smoke the full blend, because yep. now yep. I'm really curious to see, again, how all these kind of come together yep. uh, in that blend. Yep. So uh, we're going to take a break, come back, and uh, we're going to smoke the full blend next. We've smoked through all the Peritos. We're going to smoke the full blend next. 